Did y'all see, uh, what's that girl's name? D. Ramsey. She just came on live, child, making an absolute goddamn fool of herself. Now, I said, Timothy, listen, them people are out there on their vacation. Uh, don't be trying to rain on other people's parade. Leave them people alone. You had your little, your little one, your little one video, you know, and you had a little kiki, and then that's about it. Leave them alone. Let them have enjoy themselves, because all the other people, the participants, seem to be just having a good time, right? And then she had to come back on. Now I didn't, had no idea I had such an influence over these YouTube people, right? Because I mentioned D Ramsey's name, now she ain't been able to let me go since. Every time she got to come on, she got to direct her videos toward Timothy Blaine. So I think it's only right. You, Uncle Tim, what is that drunk diesel truck driver do now? Lord. She's over to her videos called Gumby Gate. So now, in addition to being a drunken disaster, she is over there taking drugs. Gumby. She called it Gumby Gate. So I said, oh, she over there making fun of people who ain't got no teeth. No, it ain't that kind of Gumby, baby. She talking about the candy Gumbies. The ones who are infused with marijuana. She is over there high as a kite and drunk as a kite at the same goddamn time. So, D. Ramsey, now I understand why your husband chooses not to travel with you on a regular basis. Apparently, according to some lady there, he is there. I can only imagine the humiliation, the embarrassment of being there with someone who's supposed to be your wife, hollering and screaming all the way across the room. Anybody got any water over there? Don't be so you're in a luxury hotel and you're screaming across the room to bring you a glass of water? D. Ramsey. Why would you come on here and make such a damn fool of yourself, girl? Everybody there seems to be having a good time, but you are sucking up all the energy in the room. It's gonna get interesting real quick. Yeah, now I know why you're gonna come in. Listen what we're finding out. Well, listen to what we're realizing. What we're realizing is you cannot take the whole gummy. <laughs> Everybody there seems to be having a good time, but you are sucking up all the energy in the room. So I think it may be time for an intervention. Someone has to at least lead you in the right direction, right? So I went and I tried to find my 12-step book. I don't follow the 12-step method, but I respect it, right? And I couldn't find my book. Then it occurred to me, wait a minute. This is the age of the internet. We don't need books anymore. So D. Ramsey, this is dedicated to you, okay? Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Y'all got me laughing so fucking hard. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Step one. We admitted we were powerless over alcohol, that our lives had become unmanageable. Unmanageable being, being in a luxury hotel suite with people who have, who have paid their money to be there as well. Husbands, wives, friends, people trying to enjoy their vacation. And I'm over in the corner screaming like some wild band. My life has become unmanageable. So I think what they're saying in step one is, we admitted that we were powerless over alcohol, that our lives had become unmanageable. We have to add drugs to this as well. Step two, came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Lord, that's the biggest, one of the biggest things. You have to come to believe. Now, I know you believe in all this hocus pocus stuff and these potions and all these shit you have hanging on your neck and all that. It doesn't really matter what the power is at this point. They say in 12 steps, they said that if you if you have to make a doorknob your your higher power for the moment, then believe in that doorknob. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'll repeat that one came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Because what we saw tonight, D. Ramsey, was not uh, sanity. That was insanity. That was embarrassing for your husband. It was embarrassing for your friends. It was embarrassing for Sean Bradley. It was embarrassing for whoever has to share a hotel or wherever the place is with you. It was embarrassing for the neighbors because they don't want to come and knock on the door or call the police on you because they have this wild woman who cannot control her alcohol and chose to add drugs to her cocktail for that evening. 